The Taiwan civil government is continuing to turn heads due to its claims that Taiwan belongs to Japan and remains under U.S. occupation. An ICRT Salmon correspondent, Michael Smith, recently met with members of the group to discuss its rather controversial policies. Established in 2008, the Taiwan civil government makes some audacious claims, the biggest of which is that they are the true government of Taiwan, that Taiwan is legally under U.S. military occupation, and that this island still technically belongs to Japan. You may have seen their vehicles with red U.S. Army-style license plates driving around in the south, a region of Taiwan the group concedes is a stronghold for their 60,000 members. I stopped by the Kaohsiung headquarters of the Taiwan civil government to speak with Xi Jinping, who goes by the title of Vice Governor of Takao Prefecture, and Assistant Secretary Zhang chang why is it that they haven't arrested you? Well, because you could be charged with treason, right? Yeah. Theoretically, right. Yeah. right? This is logical. Most of the people, you know, they have uh, this kind of question. But our TCG uh, has a register in the U.S. That's why ROC cannot have the other actions to do. But you, you have an office right here in Kaohsiung. We do. And you, you are sitting right here, right? And you are saying that the Taiwan government is not valid. It is not legal, uh -huh. and that you are legal. Yes. Right. Isn't that against the law? Uh, which law? Good question. <laughs> Even after reading their material and asking plenty of questions, it was still hard to completely understand their logic, especially when it comes to Japan, considered Taiwan's mother country. We do every year during this December, we will have a group of people to go Japan emperor to bow to let them know there is a group which is with, we are associated with the Japan. Thing. There's a long road ahead for the Taiwan civil government, and they concede it's difficult to explain their ideas to the public. We, we are very glad that ICRT was doing this uh, reporting uh, and this uh, meeting for other media because they are under with the ROC government so they have some kind of, they have considered many uh, conditions on it. The chances of the U.S. military returning to occupy Taiwan before hammering out a settlement with Japan for some kind of commonwealth including this island are remote to say the least. But if nothing else, the Taiwan civil government is helping to shine a light on history even if that light is a bit murky. Reporting from Kaohsiung for ICRT, I'm I'm Michael Smith. And finally, in sports news, the head coach of Taiwan's national soccer team says the squad could break into the FIFA rankings top 100 if the sport received more government and private sector support for development. According to Gary White, although the Chinese Professional Football Association has set the goal of advancing into the top 100 in five years, he believes it is easily achievable in two. Taiwan is currently 135th in the FIFA rankings, and that compared to the FIFA rankings of 182nd place two years ago. White says a professional soccer league needs to be established in Taiwan if the country is serious about the sports development as it would give younger players incentives for the future. White signed a one-year contract with the CTFA in September and he's previously managed China League One team Shanghai Xin Xin and he's also worked with national teams in Barbados and Guam. And that was a quick look at what's happening here in Taiwan this hour with me, Gavin Phipps. Now stay tuned for the international news, business and sports reports, which are all coming up after this break.